Hi, I'm Sarah Ellis. I'm Program Manager of Vaccine Preventable Diseases here at Grey Health Unit. And today I want to just mention about the benefits of technology in vaccine preventable diseases. Now, one of the main benefits of technology is enhanced communication. When my staff are in the field and they're in different areas within Grey Bruce, they can be within a school or a community clinic or even a Mennonite or Amish home, and they can always get in touch with me by either using email or their BlackBerry. So in case something happens, an adverse event, or in case they need um, a different medication than perhaps they thought they did, they can contact Dr. Lynn or myself and get that direct order. So enhanced communication is a great benefit to my staff who are working in the field. Another benefit of using technology in VPD is data management and records assessment. Previous to having technology, we had large storage rooms full of consents and paper copies. Uh, what you may not realize is that we have to keep paper consents for 18 years and then plus 10 years past their 18th birthday. So that's what till students are 28 years old. That's a lot of paper that we used to keep. Now we can scan those consents and have them electronically available at our fingertips. They're also way easier to retrieve in, ele in electronic format versus digging through paper boxes. Uh, records assessment is much easier when everybody is on one central database, especially now that we're using a system called Panorama where we can access records from children anywhere in Ontario. So if a student moves from one area of Ontario to Grey Bruce, we're able to access his records from when he was born, which makes it way easier than contacting health units and doctors to get records. The third and final benefit of technology in our Vaccine Preventable Diseases program is enhanced accuracy. Although technology will never take the place of a nurse's judgment and assessment, it can help nurses to make decisions based on the publicly funded immunization schedule and other resources which are taken into account in the Panorama Forecaster. The Forecaster predicts which vaccines children are eligible for at certain ages based on their immunization history. This helps nurses make safe and efficient clinical decisions while working in the field. We're in the vaccine room here at the health unit. We store, um, at any one time, we can have vaccine worth about a million dollars worth of vaccine stored here. We have seven multipurpose fridges that have set points that will uh, keep the vaccine within the range of two to eight degrees uh, Celsius, which is preferred temperature for vaccine. The fridges are also on an electronic monitoring system, Sensophone, which will, if uh, the temperature goes beyond the two to eight degrees Celsius, will trigger an electronic message to go out, which will go out to designated staff or to our after hours uh, on-call service. This message will keep going out until it is uh, acknowledged. My name is uh, Jim Howitt and I'm responsible for delivering vaccines. They have to be maintained between 2 degrees and 8 degrees centigrade. So typically in the morning and when I leave here, they're somewhere in the 5 degree range and so I monitor them. Now every hour I actually physically record the temperature on the vaccine data sheet that goes with the tote. But in order to keep on top of which direction they might be going in, I just visually do it every half hour so I can keep ahead of it. Later this spring, we're going to be uh, deploying a new program that will manage our inventory. It's referred to as the Panorama Inventory Module, and it'll help us track our vaccine, uh, both here internally and what has been sent out to our clients, the health care providers in the area. It'll also streamline our ordering process to the government pharmacy. Uh, currently, we use uh, paper, manual paper and fax it in, whereas uh, coming up with a panorama system, we'll be able to do it online with a panorama, submit it and be able to track it until we receive it. Panorama is a web-based um, immunization uh, data warehouse and it, what it does is allows all the health units in the province to be able to access immunization records for any of the, um, the clients we have at any given point in time. 
One of the th things we have to do is um, enforce the ISPA, which is the Immunization of School Pupils Act, and that's what is otherwise known as suspension time. So in order to, um, to do that process prior to Panorama, we would have to, um, again, we had our own individual databases within the health units, and a lot of it was done on paper. Uh, we would have to, as staff, during suspension time, scramble around the building trying to get to the right um, place that that paperwork was at for the po point in time that the client was actually at in the suspension process. So now, um, whenever nurses are taking calls or the program assistants need to get information on a certain client um, to be able to deal with the suspension, we can just go on to Panorama and we can see a point in time picture of that entire record. We don't have to be running around looking for things. It provides a lot of efficiencies and it provides more accuracy in um, the information we collect and what we do in terms of our immunization services. I have no idea how we did clinics before, <laughs> um, but we managed somehow. We used paper consents. We had a paper list of students that I checked off um, who had come to see me, who hadn't. When I started, we had two laptops. We could download that as a just a copy of what happened. So you weren't seeing live data that was being updated out in the community. We didn't. We only had two laptops, so they would maybe go with us, but if I had five nurses at a clinic I was leading, they didn't all have access to that data. So we had to go on what was assessed back in the office by the lead nurse, but that didn't mean that the nurse that was giving the needle knew exactly that student's immunization record at the time. We now have um, access to all of the records that um, we've talked about before on Panorama at the clinic. We use Blackberries to access the internet and then we are able to access all of the clients chart at the clinic. So that means we can see their immunization records, we can see any warnings, allergies, notes if um, I want, if the someone back in the office spoke to a parent on the phone and there's a note um, and we have the student sitting in front of us, we can access that note and all of that results in much better decision making and better treatment of the client in the community. It's been a challenge for some of our staff, um, but uh, I love it. Hi, my name is Lisa Lamkin and I'm a public health nurse at the Grey Bruce Health Unit and I'm the coordinator for the RSV clinics. Well, the RSV clinics are for babies that are at risk for con contracting RSV, which is a virus um, that attacks their respiratory system and they're identified at risk in hospital and then I receive the referral and they get a special vaccine called Synergis from November until March every year and it's a monthly injection during those months. This year we signed up for the RSV database. There is over 25 sites, hospitals and clinics that are um, on the database and it allows us to seamlessly um, move the information um, for the clients in that database. I used to have to receive probably three or four faxes and then there'd be phone calls back and forth because there'd be information missing on the forms that I got um, and then there would be a little bit of juggling of when the baby's next dose was due. So this, this system makes it very seamless, it's much more efficient, plus I can generate um, clinic schedules from this, from this system and also order vaccine. Yeah, it saves me a lot of time.